In this screencast and the next, I want to discuss tangent planes to surfaces. And this is a situation I have in mind. So I have a surface, which is indicated by this red here. I have a surface in R3. And I imagine that the surface is the level set of some function of three variables. So f of x, y, z is equal to a constant k. And I imagine I'm given some point on that surface, x naught, here. And what I want to find is I want to find the tangent plane to the surface at this point x naught. And that's indicated by this blue, this blue plane. And I've illustrated the two-dimensional analog over here where I have a function f of x, y is equal to a constant. That's to say a level set in R2. And uh, that level set, of course, is a contour. And again, I'm given a point x naught on the curve on the contour. And I want to find the, the tangent line to the level set through the point x naught. So what we know is, we know that the gradient of the function is uh, always perpendicular to, its to the level sets of the function. And that's true in any dimension. So let me just go ahead and, in fact, draw some gradient vectors on here. So, imagine, so here, this, there'll be some gradient vector. I'll draw it fairly large. And there's some gradient vector here. And those are uh, perpendicular. I won't indicate the argument. Those are then uh, perpendicular to the tangent plane. That is to say, this is this is normal to the level set. So, so with that, we can then uh, just use what we know from the construction of planes. We know immediately how to construct a, the, the equation of a, of a plane through a particular point, given it's normal. So we evaluate the gradient at the particular point, and then take the dot product of that into x minus x naught equals 0. That, then, is our equation in general. Uh, for the tangent plane, uh, tangent to the surface at a point x naught, and that would be the plane in this case, or in the two-dimensional case, that would be a line. So all we have to do is evaluate this. All right, so let's go do an example. So here's a typical kind of example. Uh, find the equation of the tangent plane to the k equal 3 level set of the following function of three variables. Again, at a particular point that you're given, and you should, uh, there's various things. So what we're, what we're being told effectively is that when this is set equal to a constant, this will then be uh, correspond to a surface in R3. You can easily verify that uh, 2, 1, minus 3 satisfies this with k is equal to 3. And hopefully you recognize that this is, for any constant k greater than 0, this, oh, this will be the equation for an ellipsoid, and I've attempted to sketch it here. This point then will correspond to some point down here. I won't try and do it accurately, but some point x naught down there. And we're asked to find the, the, the tangent plane through that point. So we just simply use the formula. Let's go. We're going to need the gradient of the function. Let's just do it at a general point first. Uh, differentiating, that looks to be x over 2. This looks to be 2y. This looks to be 2z over 9. We can then evaluate that at x naught. x naught is 2. 2 over 2 is 1. 1, 2 times 1 is 2 minus 3, that's minus 2 over 3. Just to make contact uh, with the discussion of uh, lines and planes, this is uh, our normal vector now, and uh, I gave it, in that discussion, I gave it coordinates A, B, C. I won't need this particularly, but I just want to, to relate that back. Okay, anyway, so now we can go and we can write our equation for the plane. It'll be simply this vector dotted into x minus x naught, and I'm going to write it out in coordinates, so that'll be x minus uh, x naught, x naught, the x component of x naught is 2, y minus 1, and z minus a minus 3 uh, from this, right? And that'll be equal to 0. So we just multiply through, that'll give us x minus 2, I'm going to put a parenthesis around it, plus 2, y minus 1, minus 2 thirds, z plus 3, equal naught. Uh, this would be a perfectly fine answer. You could just end here. I think I'm just going to go ahead and multiply through by the 3. I would just like to do that. It's certainly not essential. And there are very many, there are many different ways you could write this, but uh, this will then become a 6. Let me not screw up while I'm talking. And this will be minus 2, just to get rid of that fraction. So that's it. That's, uh, that's the answer. That's an equation for... Oh, let's go ahead and draw it here real fast if I can. If, it, if I can't get it right, I'm, right away, I'm just going to stop. There's some sort of plane. That's probably not a very good version of it. Anyway, there's some sort of plane there, tangent to this ellipsoid at that point, and, it's, and this is the equation of it. So that's very simple. 
I just want to say one more thing about it, which is that often uh, you, you would, in fact, more likely you would be given a question of the following kind, which is to find the equation of a tangent plane to an ellipsoid. That is to say, you wouldn't be told to think of it as a level set of a function of three variables. Instead, you would be given an equation involving three variables. So this equation uh, involving three variables is this ellipsoid. Uh, it's the same ellipsoid as before. And you're asked to find the tangent plane to the ellipsoid at a point. And I just want to say, I think everybody would get it in this context, but what you, the, obviously the key thing is, is to note is that this ellipsoid, let me just write it out, the, uh, the ellipsoid is a level set of a function f of x, y, z, and therefore you can compute the gradient uh, of f, which will be a three vector, which gives you the, uh, the, the normal to the plane that you want. And that together with the point is sufficient. Just to say that um, it won't always be a level set of a function of three variables. It may be an equation involving three variables. It may not be written in quite such an obvious way that you that you understand where the, the consonant is, is that's, that's generating the equivalent of a level set. But nevertheless, um, you're, you're to extract from this that you have a function of three variables from which to compute the gradient. And in the next screencast, I'll continue with a slightly different view of this problem.